Hi, welcome back again to European Autocraft Studios. Uh, wiring diagrams. This is going to be a short video. Uh, we didn't get them blown up the way I wanted yet. Uh, we're going to do a much bigger diagram, but it's going to give you an idea what we're going to be doing in the on the next in the next episode with the bigger diagrams. So you can actually see them. We're going to do our best to point out a few things um, and go through it that way. Hopefully, you'll pick up something with these. Uh, just a few things to, to show you. Uh, first is the, uh, the wiring diagram numbering system. A lot of you probably already know it. I don't know who knows what, so we're just going to start at the very basics and, uh, and go up from there. Um, any comments? If I missed anything, definitely send me a comment and let me see. I know we're going to be covering a lot more next week when we get the bigger diagrams. I can show you more. But on the first row of any of these diagrams, these are the current flow diagrams. Uh, this is your fuse relay panel here and this is all the equipment in the car and then this is your ground um, some of the grounds are numbered this is where you'll have a specific ground points in the car i can show you that on the 86 car we're going to actually um, find every one of those ground points i'll show you what they mean uh, we don't have to do that here i don't have an older uh, 944 to work with so on the first row you see 30 30 is going to be b plus it's going to be live all the time. Uh, that's battery on power all the time, like for your radio memory or um, seat memory. If not, these cars really didn't have seat memory back then, but um, anything that requires power all the time, the clock, for example. Uh, the next one down, which I don't know if you can see, is 15. 15. Uh, all Porsche, I think a lot of the European wiring diagrams, they use this numbering system, so it works just about for any European car. Uh, 15 is power with the key on. So it's battery power, but key on or position one. Uh, position two, sorry, position two. Uh, the next one is X. Um, X is a load reduction terminal. Uh, it's, in the, it's in the fuse relay panel. When the engine, when the key goes to the start position, this turns off. So any of your heavier consumers in the car, rear under defogger, for example, um, I think the AC blower turns off as well. Um, but if you look closer at it here, you can see my ignition switch, the ignition starter switch. Um, this is off. This is the off position. This is position one. And then this is, I'm sorry, this is X. This is the X terminal. So when the key is in the on position or engine running position, this is live. But when you go to the start position, which is here, you can see terminal 50 is on the start side. There's nothing else connected here because it's already connected over here at 50. But this is how your ignition switch is um, layered inside. So the X terminal goes here. When you go to the start position, this loses battery power. And the bigger diagrams, we'll track this out and I'll show you what loses power when, uh, when that happens. Uh, you can see this one does go right to the X uh, bus right here, right across uh, inside the entire fuse panel. So that's load reduction is X. Load reduction. I'm a terrible speller, so bear with me. No comments on that, please. So the next one down is 31. Now 31 is ground. So we have all our chassis grounds here, but inside the fuse relay panel, we also need a ground because there are various relays that, that need um, one of the terminals grounded for whatever reason uh, to make everything work properly. So inside the fuse relay panel is ground, um, is one ground bus, and that's 31. Anything connected to ground is usually a brown wire. So brown is ground. And any one of these wires connected to the ground bus on the bottom here, which is all around the chassis inside the car, uh, they'll all be brown wires. So that's brown. Brown is ground number 31. Um, 50. 50 is our start terminal. L. That is only live when the starter is in the 
full spring lock position when you turn it to the start position. That's terminal 50 right here. This goes up and that connects inside the fuse panel to anything that requires 50 or start signal. That can be your cold start injector. Uh, it'll go through a thermal time switch. So while you're cranking, the thermal time switch gets power to activate the cold start injector. Uh, some of you guys in the northern states are that's quite active. Here, it, it doesn't even get the temperature to turn on the, um, to turn on the cold start injector. So that gets a, a 50 terminal. Of course, the starter solenoid gets a 50 terminal. Um, if I can find it, that's here, starter. So if you look at the starter, the starter we know is grounded. That's not really a wire, it's bolted right to the chassis, uh, right to the engine, not the chassis, silly me. Um, terminal 50, it comes off of the 50 bus. It also, um, speed transmitter, this is the DME control unit. It gets a signal so it knows that the engine is cranking. And we have our 30. 30 right here is battery voltage all the time. There won't be any 15 here because it doesn't need any signal at all when the ignition is in the on position. So those are the numbers. Um, the simple numbers, there's also one more uh, that's listed here, uh, in, and there's more, but this is listed here. This is 58. That's 58. That's 58 or 56? 58. 58. 58 is going to be a parking light circuit. I don't know um, why they designated it, but um, there's many things that require parking lights. Uh, parking lights, signal, your license plate lights, comes on with the parking lights, the, um, all your marker lights outside the car. So this 58 is all over the diagram because it goes to different places. Uh, there's also instrument lights, um, other signals like the fog light relay will get a signal from the parking lights. I oh, know, I'm sorry, the headlights. We'll get to that. Um, headlights, we also have, let's see, 56. So anything you see that has a 56, 56B is going to be low beam, 56A is high beam. Um, so 56 is headlights. Um, a and B. And the interesting interesting thing about Porsche, and I think about probably a lot of European cars, they have specific color wires for uh, specific things in the car that go out through all the whole uh, Porsche range. So the headlight wires are generally, and I should say always, yellow, yellow for low beam, and white for high beam. Um, one way to remember that is that the, the lights are on low beam are, dar are dimmer, perhaps, so they're a little more yellow. That's how I try to remember it. High beam is bright and white, so uh, that's how I try to remember those. The B and A, not necessary to remember. And even these number designations, if you just follow the wire, you really don't need the 56B to tell you that it's low beam, um, but it's there. Uh, the left side of the car is usually striped wires and uh, striped yellow, so it's yellow with black stripes. The uh, left side of the car, I'm sorry, the right side of the car does not have stripes. Uh, Ferrari does the same thing. So the left side of the car has the uh, dashed wires, the black and white, uh, or black and yellow, where the others are straight. The uh, right side is straight, straight color, yellow or white. Um, I can get into a lot more detail. It's just so hard to read on these. Uh, just one more thing I'll show you is um, if you see a symbol like this, these letters here indicate uh, another position uh, another position in the wiring diagram. The A means that if you see another A, you know that it's tied into the circuit. This is, um, well, let's go up here first. You see the small A. Any, the smaller or lowercase letters are inside the fuse relay panel. So we have A. And that is uh, Roman numeral four, which is for your fourth diagram, part four. Um, I can't read that pin number, 32. So this will tell you that this connects to diagram four, pin 32, our current track 32, not pin 32, current track 32. If you come down here, we're in diagram four now, the fourth page. 
come over to pin, uh, number 32. This is the current track, they call them, 32. Up, right up into the fuse panel, we have the small A that we found over here in the first diagram. Uh, this is showing me that this is on the very first diagram, part one, which we have up here, which is part one, and current track one which is right here. Our first current track, it doesn't mean that it's connected to the generator, but it means it's current track one. It goes all the way up right to that. And that helps us navigate from one page to the other and connect these circuits together. Uh, there's so much more to show you and so much more I wanna show you, but this diagram right now isn't really gonna work for us too much. It's gonna be hard to see. But um, at least take this, look at these numbers because next week we're gonna get a lot more in depth about this. Uh, the wiring colors, I think the instrument wire, instrument lighting wires are gray with a red stripe or gray with a black. You know, there's all that kind of stuff that we're going to look at. It's pretty interesting. Um, after these, we'll get into the later ones with the 86 car that we have, and then we're going to get really in-depth, and I'll show you the fuse relay panel numbering, all the numbering the, um, on the bottom of the fuse relay panel and how they are, um, and how to trace them and find the wiring inside the car. I also have something I'm going to show you how to find a short circuit in a, uh, in a circuit that, like an interior light circuit or something like that, that keeps blowing fuses. Uh, if you replace the fuse with a light bulb, uh, it gets interesting. I'll have to save that for next time. But I'll show you that in how to troubleshoot a, um, blowing fuses. It's kind of uh, interesting and it makes it a little bit easier. Uh, but that's it for now. I just want to get, get through this real quick for this week, and uh, next week we'll do more bigger diagrams, easier to read. And uh, that's it. So come back next week for more. Thank you for watching. Uh, please keep subscribing. We're up to, I think, 412 uh, last time I looked. Awesome. Uh, we're going to keep it going as far as we as long as we can go. Keep more, more subscribers and uh, likes, share. Uh, let's keep it moving. So thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next week with more stuff.